Yes. Uh, Sashigal students, today we are going to discuss important concepts before we study surface area and volumes of class 10. Well, students, all the formulas covered in class 9 are the prerequisites to this. So, first is the concept of area and the concept of volume. With this, related is concept of 1D, 2D, and 3D. Now, students, normally we end up saying that this straight line is any student. Normally, we say one-dimensional. One one-dimensional. But actually, you see, students, the straight line is also having some thickness. Let us say this side is the length of straight line. Then this is the thickness. Okay, I agree. This thickness is very small, but still some thickness is there. Also, students, okay, when I draw a line with a pen, with ink on a paper, there is some ubhar, means, you know, perpendicular to the shape, some ink is there. That is basically the height. So actually, if you see, this straight line is also not 1D, not 2D, but rather 3D. But we assume that the breadth in this direction and height in this direction, they are negligible as compared to the breadth and height of straight line are negligible as compared to, come on students, it's length. length. That's why we say straight line is one dimensional. Beautiful. So, you know, we normally end up saying that length is the one dimensional. Then comes area. So students, you know, this is our area. Basically, you see, when we want to, you know, draw this. So basically, we are able to draw this because we have taken, you know, length in this direction and breadth in this direction. So these two dimensions have generated this black plane, this black surface. This black surface students generated is known as area. You will wonder what are the units of area? You see, on x-axis, it's meter. On y-axis also, it's meter. Hence, the unit of area is meter square. In higher classes or when you become a researcher in maths, you'll be surprised that area is two-dimensional and hence its degree is also, come on students, its degree is two. All right, two. that's beautiful. Now students, let's say we go for volume. When we talk about length, it's like this. When we talk about area, what comes to our mind is a plane, a surface, a plane surface, okay? So when we talk about volume, students, we talk about jaga, we talk about space, we talk about how much. Like suppose students, this is a, you know, this is a cylinder. Now how much air is there in the cylinder? How much water can be filled in this cylinder? How much? Space, jaga, you know, uh, those things are related to volume, okay? Like I am in a room, so in this room, you know, suppose this is an empty room, there is a lot of air. If I place a lot of almiras, some trunks, you know, a lot of things in this room, the amount of air in the room will decrease. decrease. Oh, that is the reason 
it is always suggested by good architects that in the in your drawing room or in a room where you sleep where you spend most of the time have least possible things why so that the amount of air is maximum which can help you breathe more air and stay healthy you know staying in a room which is full of almira and full of trunks is just like staying on the top of shimla or staying on the top of a mountain where even if your room is totally empty but the air pressure is on the top of shimla the air pressure is low so don't do this mistake so volume these are the things related to volume students when we talk about volume you know let us say we are talking about a cuboid so in case of cuboid this is length this is breadth this is height so may i ask our good girl dia that what is the volume of cuboid l into b into h beautiful l into b into h so what is the unit of this in si system meter cube meter cube all right now when you get into research volume is three dimensional the space around us is three dimensional you know but sargon munro's interesting thing some scientists believe no it's not three dimensional anyone can suggest why something interesting they say space is four dimensional why they say length breadth height is there volume is there but they all cannot exist if time is not there oh, that is really great so they say this one more dimension attached to volume that is time oh so they say no space is not 3d but rather it is 4d but if you tell your ma'am it is 4d she might be annoyed with you so you can talk you know about uh, your research acumen only if other person understand so we end up saying volume is three dimensional beautiful all right now we quickly see you know if we have a cube now satrik kor now cube has how many surfaces how many surfaces cube has similar yes. beautiful similarly cuboid also have six surfaces so cube is basically you know it's like ice cube or like ludo dice so all the sides are equal so dia what is the total surface area of cube 6 square beautiful 6 times the surface area of one surface surface area of one surface is a square so surface area of six surfaces is six a square but in case of cuboid you see students uh you know in case of cuboid you have length breadth height so you have this surface then double it this surface double it then this surface double it so you just like like right length breadth height its total surface area would be yes yeah, sargun for cuboid total Sir, surface area two, is 2 two into 2 bracket length into breadth first multiply this and this lb then multiplied by bh and then multiplied by h into l h l beautiful so this is total surface area of cuboid mind that its unit will also be meter square beautiful all right now comes a circle right students this is something very simple if this is a circle 
So may I ask, Amrit Pal Singh, what is the area of the circle? This. So pi r square. Beautiful. This is the area of circle. Okay. So this is pi r square. Is there any student which can define pi also? Any student can define pi? This is a circle, right? Circle is having two parameters. One parameter is the diameter of the circle. This is a straight line. And other parameter is the circumference of circle. That is a curved distance. So the ratio of 2 pi r upon d. Length, beautiful. The ratio of curved length to the straight length is pi. Curved length is 2 pi r. Straight length is diameter r here, r here, 2r, r cuts with r, 2 cuts with 2, that is equal to pi. Beautiful definition. All right. What is pi? Any student, pi is the ratio of curved length to the straight length of any circle of any radius. Value of pi is constant. Beautiful. There comes the name of a great mathematician, Rama Ramanujam. Ramanujam. From Tamil Nadu. Now he is known as the person who knew infinity. Very less people, very less people, you know, could really understand the concept of infinity in mathematics all over the world. So Ramanujan developed those equations which helped the world to understand the and calculate the value of pi. All the calculations of pi the value of pi, you know, is basically 3.14 and then so many digits, 10, 20, 30 digits, they have calculated using the equations of Ramanujan. But interesting thing, student, no number is repeating. So till now, we consider pi as which number? Irrational. We consider as if tomorrow, let's say they start repeating, then we will say pi is a rational number. I don't know. I cannot comment on this. But until today, the research says pi is irrational number. So we know what is pi. All right. So students, whatever you can draw on sheet of paper, whatever you can draw on sheet of paper is any student, is it 2D or 3D? Dia, can you answer? Whatever you can draw on sheet of paper is 2D or 3D? 2D. Oh, beautiful. Sir, but you said 3D. Ah, if you consider the length, breadth, and height of the straight line, ah, then it is 3D. In fact, every 2D object is also 3D. All right. So, anomaly. Sir, but as. Tell me, tell me, Manros, please. Sir? Yes. Sir, then 2D dimension things will not be possible only in the world. We are very we right. consider this. Yeah, you are very right because if you consider a sheet of paper, so you are considering length and breadth of sheet of paper. That's why we say this is 2D, but actually there is thickness also involved. Okay, it's very small. So actually, Mangroves, you are right. There is nothing 2D. There is nothing 1D. It is all 3D. And then some scientists can say nothing is 3D. Everything is 4D. Because all this 2D, 1D, 3D cannot exist if time is not there. So you see, science is a subject. The more you learn, the more you think you have to learn. So uh, great are the students and teachers who motivate concepts and research-based mind and teaching 
in the mind of their students and mostly they are rejected by this world and parents all right so let's go further now students we have discussed the concept of area but we have till now discussed only plain areas areas can be curved also suppose you are having a sphere what students you are having a sphere one second yes students so now if we talk about a sphere or uh, sphere uh, when we talk about sphere we can talk about football we can talk about tennis ball uh, we can talk about cork ball we can talk about rubber ball then we can talk about in punjabi banta banta you know you can talk about sun earth moon though the sun and earth is not perfect sphere so if you talk about sphere and if you touch the outer area of sphere the outer part of sphere that is a good example of curved area see i am not talking about the space occupied by sphere that is the volume of sphere i'm only talking about curved area so Yes, Sargun. Can you tell me what is curved area of a sphere of radius r? Four pi r square. Four pi r square. So how you remember pi r square is the surface area of a circle four times the area of circle four pi r square. Beautiful. Then students, we get cone. So this is a right circular cone. right this is the slant height of cone this is the radius of the cone and this is the simply we say height of cone h then they are will tell me what is the csa of cone that is curved surface area this surface area pi r that is equal to pi r l beautiful this l is the longer length all right so we have discussed lot of things and then we also discuss cylinder this is a cylinder what is the curved surface area of cylinder or you can also say this is lateral surface area lateral surface area or curved surface area of a cylinder yes man rose anyone any student 2 pi r h 2 pi r h beautiful 2 pi r that is the perimeter of the base circumference of the base this perimeter multiplied by height of the cylinder will give us lateral surface area of cylinder but if you want to calculate this area also in case of solid cylinder you see in case of hollow cylinder this surface and this surface will not exist, exist. they will exist only in case of solid cylinder so we can say total surface area of solid cylinder is Same to pi r h plus this area and this area. So two pi r square. This is equal to two pi r into come on h plus r meter square. So this is calculated in SI system. Now comes the concept of volume. All right. So Raman, what is the volume of cuboid? फटाफट वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यूबॉइड लेंथ इन टू बैंड ब्यूटिफुल वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट पोल विच कैन कम इन अ क्यूबॉइड एनी स्टूडेंट वट इज द लेंथ ऑफ लॉन्गेस्ट पोल which can be diagonally fit in a room if the room has length and breadth and height any student in 
under root l square plus b square plus h square under root l square plus b square plus h square. under root this is the longest height height longest length which can be placed in a room beautiful all right so volume of cube body is lbh what is the volume of q a into a into a a come on what is the volume of cube a q what is the volume of cylinder what is the volume of pi r square pi r square base area into height what is the volume of solid cylinder any student having radius r any student this is the volume of hollow cylinder what is the volume of solid cylinder yes amrit pal so pi r square h beautiful it same i was just trying to confuse you the volume of a hollow cylinder and volume of a solid cylinder is same only difference is jada solid cylinder hai in that there is some material in the hollow cylinder there is air air wow that's concept beautiful then comes volume of sphere yes dia volume 4 by 3 pi r 4 volume of sphere no it's not zero it's 4 by 3 pi r cube remember every matter everything every matter has volume remember that if you talk about matter if you talk about padar it definitely has mass and there is, there is mass it definitely has volume anything you can touch you can feel as volume but if you say suppose uh, sahad is giving a nice smile so you can say sir you can feel her smile can you measure the volume no 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 these are qualitative things qualitative things is not matter hence there is no volume so students my last question to you is what is the volume of hemi sphere hemi is half so this is a sphere you cut it into two portions so you will get this sphere so what is the volume of the sphere come on students 2 by 3 pi r cube 2 by 3 pi r cube beautiful what is the total surface area of a hemisphere may i ask raman 6 pi r square wrong total surface area of a hemisphere so sphere is having area 4 pi r square half of this 3 square. pi r square 3 pi r square plus the area of this circle so this circle is pi r square hence the total surface area of a hemisphere is 3 pi r square out of which pi r square is the plane area and 2 pi r square is the any student 2 pi r square is the curve area students you should know everything then we can do further one last question suppose this is a cuboid can you tell fatafat if this is 2 this is 2 this is 10 and it is resting on this side what is the lateral surface area of this cuboid for top for 10 10 seconds and even lateral surface area of this cuboid 80 80 how 60 how 60 so to find lateral 80. surface area you first calculate the perimeter of the base what is perimeter of the base Two, 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 two. So it is no. It's not four. Perimeter of base is two 